Right, so now we can basically um, run things like light up some of the LEDs in the micro bit using uh, JavaScript through Code Kingdoms. So we're going to look at something a little bit more in depth. So we're going to look at um, how we do variables. So a variable, you give it a name and then you can assign any value to it. To create a variable in Code Kingdoms, we go to this second one down and we're going to go to globals. And we've got two there, we've got my number and my string. There are two types uh, or two major types of data that get put into JavaScript. One is number, obviously, any number, and a string is any text. If you type a number into a string, it will act as text. It won't let you add or delete or do anything like that. Uh, add or subtract, sorry, with the, with the numbers. So I'm going to click this plus button here, and I'm going to create my own variable. I'm going to call my name. Click it, and you can see it's gone white. And the reason it's gone white is because they don't don't know the computer doesn't know whether it's a string, uh, i.e. text, or whether it's a number. So if I drag this on, it will now say globals. Globals basically means that it's a variable that can be used by anything on in this script. Um, and then equals, and I've got the choice of making it a string, a number, or a boolean, which is yes or no. So I'm going to do a string, so some text, and I'm going to write my name in there. So the variable name equals Mr. Harvey. Now if we run this, you will notice nothing actually happens. Okay, nothing is running, because at the moment it's, I've, I've stored the, the word name as my name, but I haven't told the micro bit to display it. So if I go back onto here and I say, right, I want it to say something, but instead of writing it now, down here I've got my variables, so if I click name, I'm now saying, I've got a variable name, I've called it Mr. Harvey, and now I want you to say on the micro bit, whatever I have put in that name variable. So when we run it, you should notice, there we go, it says my name on there. So we've just created a variable there and we've created a variable that allows us to um, uh, display some information. Now I can change variables, you can change variables as you go along. Okay, so if I was to get go back to my global variable and I was to get name and I was going to change it to something different so let's put his amazing thing there. Okay. So now, after I've run it, I've changed what my variable equals. So I'm going to go back to here and I'm going to get the micro bit to say. Um, and I'm going to put my string in. Okay. Sorry, not my string. That was the wrong one. Uh, and then name one. So globals.name. So when I run this now, it will, first of all, say my name and then once it's said my name it's down here it will run to the next instruction change what the variables called and then run that so it's now saying is amazing okay and to show you that this works that you can change the variable as you want if I was to drag this variable above so I say oh it's called Mr. Holly then I say it's called amazing and then I, I print whatever the name is, it will only say is amazing because that is what it equals at that point in time. So if we run this, there we go, it just says is amazing. Okay, so that way we can now use a set of variables in which to display something. And you can then start doing more complicated things with those variables. You can start doing mathematical things. So if I, I'm i going to delete all of this off of there, and we're going to make a really quick calculator. Um, but we're not going to do it uh, where you can type the number, and we're just going to hard code the number. So I'm going to create a new global, and I'm going to call it One, number one, and create another new one, 
I call it num2. I'm going to create another new one. I'm going to call it num3. So number one, number two, and number three. Now I'm going to say number one is going to be a number, and that's going to be the number two. I'm then going to say number two is going to be a number, and it's going to be a number five. So those two added together will equal seven. So number three will equal, and I'm going to put in number, but I'm actually, I've got these ones here, I've got left plus right, left minus right, left times right, left divide right, so I'm going to put in left plus right, and I'm going to put in the left side, I'm going to drag in number one, okay, now the reason it doesn't appear at the bottom is because it doesn't know it's a number, I haven't defined it as a number, I'll drag in number two, and then I'm going to put, right, say, and I want it to say number three. So it's saying number one equals two, number two equals five, number three is number one plus number two, which is seven, five plus two is seven, and then say whatever number three is. So if I run this, there we go, it comes up with the number seven. And again, to show you this works, if we click on here, let's do a number uh, eight, do another number here. Um, 11, for instance. So 8 plus 11 equals 19. We run it. 1, 9. There's the 19. And you can see that what we're doing is we're taking those variables and we are adding to them putting them together and doing something with them. So that is basically how variables run, okay, and how variables work. And you can make the variables equal to whatever you want the variables to equal, and that can change throughout your program to do different things. But the major thing about variables is when you go global on here, you can click the plus and you can create your own variables.